Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my living room makeover. I know you guys have seen a few of these. I feel like in this house it's taken me so long to figure out like what my style is, what looks best in this house and I finally nailed it down. If you've been following me during my recent videos, I finally figured out that organic modern is what I'm going for. So with that, I've noticed there's not a lot of prints and there is black, but it's more pops of black versus like a ton of black through the house. And then the rest of it's just a lot of neutrals, um, like creams and whites and ivories. And I am loving it. Like once I get my house switched over to this, I don't think I'm ever redecorating again. And I feel like I can hear you guys giggling through the screen now, but that is how much I love this so we can all see together how long this sticks. I really have loved this coffee table. Um, I walked into Home Goods one day and randomly found it. I feel like you guys ask me about it all the time. I will say the two cons are it has like a lot of cracks or creases in it, like because of the design. And so crumbs get in there. So you definitely need a vacuum to clean it. And then I didn't love that it didn't have like a straight edge. It's kind of got that lip. So I always had to like dump it over just to make sure I was really getting it clean. So I was really wanting just like a smooth surface again and something wood but until we talk about that piece I was actually on Facebook marketplace and I found a TV stand I have been looking for the last couple years I want to say like I've been looking on Facebook marketplace I've been into a lot of furniture stores and these things are so expensive like in the furniture stores they're anywhere from like 1400 to like 7,000 and even if I wanted to spend that I couldn't even find one that I loved enough to spend like a chunk of money on so I was so glad when I found this used it was in our same town I was so thankful I feel like I've been looking for it for so long and it's gonna go beautifully in the new space There are so many perks to buying used and anytime I can do it, I will. I will say it's been different the last couple years. I feel like people aren't posting as much or as often, but you always save money when you do it this way. You also um, save time putting it together. So if you're a person that hates putting stuff together, this saves you so much time because it's already done. You do have to find to get it away in your house. So you may have to have it delivered or you know someone has to have a truck. We actually end up using my car and just put down all the seats because the day we went to pick it up, it was raining. Otherwise we would have grabbed Chase's truck, but it actually fit in my SUV. And it's just really good on our environment that things are being reused and we love it. And I love it even more that I got a better deal on it. I feel like it looks so good in this space and just more of the style that we're going towards now. I loved our last piece. You're gonna see it again here in a second. We had originally bought it used off Craigslist quite a few years ago. We painted it, we added new hardware, we used it as a dresser for a long time. And then if you guys were with me then, we put it into our living room and it took a while for me to find a dresser for our bedroom. And so Chase's clothes were still all in it in our living room. I don't know if you guys remember that time. You'll have to let me know if you were here around um, those videos. And then one of you amazing ladies suggested adding feet to the bottom and that completely took it from a dresser to a TV stand. So if you're needing to do something like that to save money, TV stands are expensive. So definitely look into that. But when you're searching um, different sites, be sure to look like TV console, buffet. I found this under a buffet, even though it's actual a TV stand because when you open it up, it already has like holes cut for you to put stuff in but they had listed it as a buffet. So just think of like dresser, TV stand, TV console, buffet. Like when you're searching for something on a used site, you have to really get creative because other people have used it for different purposes. So they may have called it something else. I'm 
I'm basically just taking everything out of the dresser that was in here and putting it into this TV stand. I will say I had drawers and not cabinets, so I had to grab just a few extra bins to throw the games into. The only other thing I had in here were like the dog's towels and I just threw those out in the garage. They didn't really need to be in the dresser anyways. It just kind of made sense when there were drawers. But now that these are just like cabinets, it didn't make sense. So we just keep games in here, DVDs, um, candles, a lot of like our electronics, like remotes and plugins, kind of stuff like that. I did want to show you just real quickly how we um, store our DVDs. This is just a definitely a space saver way to do it. We got rid of all the cases for them, stuck it in here, and it just saves so much space. Okay, so it's a new day now. You might see my outfits change a lot. You may not be able to notice because I wear almost solid black every day, but this is a few days to do this living room. So it wasn't done in all one day. I was finding pieces at different times and things were being shipped, but we finally got the new rug in. I actually found this rug off Amazon. I had never really shopped there for large rugs, but I came across this one and I thought it was gonna be perfect because I was wanting a very neutral rug but I didn't want it all one color especially ivory because we have dogs and kids running through our house and I just wanted it to help kind of camouflage dirt um, a little bit if we could so I found this one and as you can see it's still really neutral but it's got gray in there when you're up close so it's going to kind of hide dirt better um, I know the rug I had in here was pretty new but I didn't like the pattern anymore since I was switching styles and this one didn't hold up well for some reason um, I had shampooed it a few times like I always do and it was fine the last time I shampooed it it really wrinkled up and it never relaxed back so I don't know what caused that um, to me, it was perfect timing because I wanted a new rug anyways, but if you ever have this issue and you like the rug, all you would have to do is flip it around and put that section underneath the sectional. But like I said, since we were switching up our style just a little bit, I went ahead and ordered a new one. Okay, I swear I've had rugs longer than this one and they weren't ever this dirty when I pulled our sectional off of it. I don't know what we've been doing in here. I feel like I even just spring cleaned and I clean all the time, but underneath this sectional, it was so dirty. I was shocked at the things we were finding underneath there. I mean, there was a lot of George. I didn't even notice there was a screw there until this scene when I was editing, but it just got really dirty. So I don't know what that was all about, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the rug and around it vacuumed before I roll it up because we either hang on to these for future projects, sometimes we donate them, a lot of the times like friends or family takes them, and once I roll it up, the chances of me rolling it back out to clean it are very slim. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up, and then I always snap pictures just in case I decide to sell it later. I already have pictures of it, and then we'll take this out, and I'm so excited to be bringing in the new one. Before we bring in the new rug, I was gonna go ahead and vacuum underneath the rug. I will say where the rug was, it actually stayed really clean. I feel like sometimes there's like a lot of dirt or sand for some reason under it. Um, but this time it was just like on the rug and around the rug, but underneath was fine. Um, sometimes I even mop before I bring the new rug in, but everything looks super clean. So I just went over it real quickly with a vacuum and then it was good to go. I thought it was really funny how this rug came. They normally come like rolled up on like a roll or like a tube, but this one just came folded. 
I will say since it's more of a natural rug, it's not completely natural because you can tell like there is a top and a bottom. Like I could never flip this over, but it was folded. Um, anytime you get a new rug, there's going to be creases in it and it just needs to relax. So if it comes folded, it's gonna be the same way. If it comes rolled up real tight, sometimes you have to like put something heavy on the corners, but just know if you're getting a new rug and it's being shipped to you, they had to fold it up somehow. So just keep furniture off of it. I like to do it overnight. They say 24 to 48 hours, but I'm not that patient of a person, so I'll just do it overnight. The only way to avoid this from happening is to buy it from like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. They always have them hanging, and then you have to roll it to get in your car, but it's not long enough to like crease it or anything. But other than that, just know it's gonna have some creases. It's fine, set some heavy stuff on it. This one I just let lay there overnight, and it was still a little bit wrinkled when we woke up, but it wasn't bad at all. But right here, I just wanted to kind of show you up close what it actually looked like. Since I had to leave my furniture kind of scattered for the whole night, I just went ahead and put my sectional together and made this one massive sofa. I wish I had a place for that somewhere. I thought that was so cool just to like leave it that big. And I'm not gonna lie, Savannah loved the furniture being pushed off to the side and so did George. Putting the sectional back together, not so much putting it back together, but in the right spot is always tricky for us, even if I get the same size rug. I will say I got a rug that was even a little bit bigger, so it threw us off. I feel like every time we get a new rug, we have to put the sectional together, take it off, make adjustments, and then put it back on. It always takes us two times. Um, so when you have like a sofa and a love seat, it's so much easier to like rearrange and get new rugs. But a sectional has so many pieces and you have to make sure it's exactly lined up and the rugs lined up. It always takes us a little bit of work. So a pro tip, the first time you're setting all your pieces on, don't lock them in yet. We have like not figured this out yet. We're going to do better next time, but we always take the time and lock in all the pieces and then we realize it's not in the right spot and so we have to unconnect everything. So the second time we got smart, which you're about to see here in a second, we're going to take everything back off and then put it on. And once we move the rug and get it all lined up, we learned not to hook it in until we get the pieces there, just so you can shimmy it around a little bit more. And then once it's in the perfect spot, you can go back and lock those um, pieces in together. You know you're beautiful, you know you're beautiful. I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful. Basically, we had the sectional in the right spot, but the rug was just too far one direction for the sectional. I feel like in this house, we have no perfect center, like nothing symmetrical. So if we get it lined up with the TV, it's not lined up with the chandelier. If it's lined up with the chandelier, it's not with the island. I feel like every room is like that. So it always makes it super hard. We're both trying to decide like, which way it should be lined up. And so we get the rug and then the sofa on it. But I think at the end we nailed it. It's like the perfect spot for all those things. So 
So now that we have it exactly where we wanted it, we're gonna go ahead and start locking those pieces in. We always have a hard time because we want a bigger gap right here when you walk into our kitchen from the living room, but then the sectional isn't centered with the TV. But when it is, we feel like we have this huge dead spot behind the sectional and between the windows right there um, towards our backyard. There's just tons of like extra space there that gets wasted, but there's not really much we can do about it because if we go any more to the left, then it's not centered with the TV. So we're always like, what do we do with this area? But it's not like big enough to put anything there either. Like I can't put a table or anything like that. Now we're gonna bring in the coffee table and I feel like this is what completes the entire look. So if I just had like a cream sectional with a cream rug, it could get really boring. But when I put on this wood coffee table, oh, I feel like it's the most beautiful pump in the world. I have been looking for a piece like this for a long time. It's kind of like the dresser. This I actually found at the world market and I thought it was beautiful, so I grabbed it. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off just because it had, um, come in a box from the store and I'm just using my jaws cleaner so I haven't mentioned them in a while but I do have my code is still active with them so if you're needing 20% off I will leave the link and my code down below in my description box but I'm gonna wipe off the TV stand as well but what's amazing is these came from two different places one is used one is from a store and I feel like they were made to be in the same room together so now that we have all the new pieces in, for the most part, furniture pieces, I wanna go in and just clean it all up. I'm gonna fluff the pillows. That way when I start decorating, it's like a clean slate. It's all ready to go. Obviously in our day-to-day -day life, I don't fluff these as often as I used to. I kinda just like that cozy look and cozy vibes. But since I'm decorating, I just want it to be nice and full and fresh. So when I'm putting my pieces in, I know exactly what it's gonna look like. Baby, one day I'm hoping that you will be mine Turn my life around, wow So where, where do we go when everything feels like Now here are the pieces I'm going to be working with. A few of these are brand new. The rest are just what used to be in here or throughout the house. I will say these are my favorite pillows ever. I'm so sad that I'm gonna have to replace them. They're just tearing apart. I've sewn them, I put them back together. They're just not great on my sofa anymore because when guests sit down, I just feel like they look kind of bad. So I'm gonna grab some nicer pillows throughout my house and then put those um, just into my office because nobody's ever in there but like chasing me and then when I'm laying on them, it's not a big deal, but they are so soft and beautiful. I wish I could rebuy those, but they came from Ross and I feel like Ross does not get pillows like that anymore. But here are how those spaces turned out. And then I'm gonna be putting the newer pillows in here. And both of these are from Target. So if you like these, I'll link them down below in my description box for you. I really like this blanket I'm about to throw on here. I found it at TJ Maxx once and I feel like it just really blends in with our sectional, especially now that I'm going for more of that look. But it's also really like pet friendly, like if George is gonna jump up there, I can lay it out so he's on the blanket and not messing up the sectional. And then I can just throw it in the washer and it's clean again. So he doesn't get up there much, but when he does, I like to just lay a blanket down. Plus it looks really pretty just styled too. Now this piece is new. I picked it up from Kirkland's and the greenery inside it is from Kirkland's as well. I really wanted to put it here on the coffee table, but as you can see, it's way too big. Even if it looked good, it's just not functional because we're gonna sit down to watch TV and we're gonna have to move it every time. Um, I kind of had thought I would put it on our dining room table, but it looked a little big there as well, but I end up finding the perfect spot for it here in a few minutes, so definitely don't click off yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and arrange this coffee table. I like things that are very low 
low so we don't have to move it every time we're like laying on the sectional or sitting on it and it's blocking people and I like to still have room on the coffee table for like drinks and food so this is how it turned out I also like to have coasters down I think the beads may be a little much let me know if you like the beads or if I should take them off yes I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you So the two new pieces that I have bought um, are the things that I have left. So I kind of decided I needed more of the tree in the living room and now that I have this big plant I thought this will work out really well because I feel like I have to have something green in the entryway or it just looks really blah. So I took the olive tree and put it over here in the corner. I've never really had much over here and I love that it kind of pulls your eye further out it's right by the windows. I don't know. I'm just loving how it looks right here in this little corner. Now that I took the green plant from this area, I'm just going to rework this area just a little bit. Um, I really love this like big bold grand face and I kind of missed having a plant on this bench I used to have like one of my snake plants here So I thought this may look really good and it did I feel like it looks a little bit cleaner. It's less busy um, And then I love the boldness just when you walk in I would have loved to put this plant somewhere like that We see it more in our living room, but it's just, I think it's bigger than even it looks on camera, but I feel like it fills up the space really well and adds that greenery that we needed. Now I'm trying to find a spot for this basket with the blanket in. I really love the texture of it. I will say in this space, I didn't love it. I felt like there was a lot of wicker and wood right by each other. So I actually took it back into my entryway, but I put it down in that little nook by our black frames and I felt like it looked perfect in this space. Another piece that I've been on the hunt for for like a long time is a large clock for this wall. Um, the original one we had like stopped working and then the second one fell off the wall and shattered and so I didn't think it was going to be that hard to find but I've been searching for months. I even thought like with January and it just being a new year clocks would come out and they just haven't. So when I went into Kirkland's, I found this clock and it was way up high and it didn't look that big. Now once we got it home, I felt like it was too big for this space and what I was going for. I think it could have worked if I wasn't going just more simple and calming. Um, so I know there's going to be some of you that probably love it and there's going to be some like me that's like, okay, it's a little much. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this wall now. I think the clock I was originally looking for wouldn't go with the style either. But this clock kind of made me itchy and got me thinking and I actually found a perfect spot for it in my home. So I'll show you where we're gonna hang it now. So if you missed Chase's um, office makeover, definitely go back and check that out. But we never put anything on this wall over here. I had a hard time trying to decide what would look good. We had both decided we would probably just do an accent wall because that was the easiest to do. And then once I saw this clock, I went and held it up in there and I was like, no, this is what it needs. I feel like it's very masculine. I think it's also pretty when you first come in our home because you see that wall. And if you're outside looking in, I feel like it's just a grand piece to see. So you guys will have to let me know what you think about it in the comments section, but I feel like it was made for his office. Okay. 
Okay, so here is how it all turned out. I'm in love with it. I keep telling Chase the only reason I'm gonna switch something out is if it gets dirty or stained, but you guys can hold me to that. Even take guesses um, down below in the comment section of how long you think this will last. I'd love to know, or you can definitely comment like what your style is. Like, what do you call your style? And I know they all look different. Like if you search organic modern, someone else may pull different elements from it and it may look different. But to me, I am absolutely loving this space. I'm loving the vibe. I love that it's like minimal, but it's also cozy and warm and inviting. So I'm super happy with this makeover. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got inspired. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I do post two new videos every week and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.